Hi, you guys. Welcome to Audrey's Reading Area. Alexa, what time is Audrey's Reading Area? Alexa, what time is Audrey's Reading Area? Audrey reads in her area live at 8 o'clock p.m. Live at 8, you guys. Don't forget to click the like button, click the share button, and go on over to Audrey's Reading Area when you get to YouTube. YouTube, Audrey's Reading Area smash that subscribe button for me don't forget don't forget don't do that do that now my next thing is shouting out my grandbabies Korea Sana David the third and Kaden I love you guys so much I miss you so much with all my heart can't wait to see you again and love you all right on this educational Tuesday have a an interesting book with these guys in it. Yes, these guys right here. We got um, Ernie and Bert. Bert and Ernie. That makes me angry. That makes me angry. So this book was written by Anthony Best and is illustrated by Tom Cook, featuring Jim Henson's Sesame Street Muppets or Puppets Muppets. All right. <laughs> We're going to just jump right into this book. Sesame Street book, a great growing up book. Parents trust Sesame Street to help guide their children through important learning experiences. With understanding, reassurance, and humor, Sesame Street growing up books present stories about the challenges children face in growing up. So, that's why this is an educational book. That makes me angry. Let's see what it says, we're gonna jump right in. Oh, how cool. One morning, Ernie looked out the window. Ernie looked out the window and wondered what to do that day. Bert was settled into a chair with his new book, Famous Pigeons. Ernie watched some leaves and bits of paper dancing and swirling along Sesame Street. Bert, he said, suddenly, guess what? Then instead of letting Bert guess, he told him, it's windy. It's windy, Bert. It's a good day to go to the park and fly a kite. That's nice, Ernie, said Bert. He was enjoying his book. But Ernie leaned over the top of Famous Pigeons and said, I'll go buy a kite, Bert, and you fix a picnic lunch for us. Okay, Bert? It wasn't okay with Bert. Not at first. He wasn't fond of picnics on windy days. He was happy sitting and reading, but he began to think what fun it would be to watch a kite swoop and glide high in the air while he and Ernie held on tightly to the string and munched sandwiches and apples. Well, he said at last, okay, Ernie. Swell, Bert, said Ernie. Meet me at the big statue in the park with our lunch. All right, Ernie. The big statue is, Bert was going to say, fine. But Ernie had already slammed the door and was on his way. Hmm. Ernie chose an orange kite at the, at the toy store and ran with it to the park. He sat down under the big statue of a boy and a girl on a horse and began to put the kite together. Bert will love this kite, he said to himself. Orange is his favorite color. Hmm. Meanwhile, Bert made two peanut butter and, and banana sandwiches. Oh, I love peanut butter and banana. Bert made two peanut butter and banana sandwiches, Ernie's favorite. He put them in his lunchbox with two apples and two cartons of milk and set off to meet Ernie in the park. He sat down under the big statue of Mother Goose. I hope Ernie gets here soon with the kite, he thought. Uh-oh. Do you guys remember which statue that Ernie was sitting next to? I see a problem coming. Uh-oh. 
But Ernie didn't get there soon. He was sitting beside the big statue of a boy and girl on a horse waiting for Bert. Where is my old buddy Bert, he wondered. He should have been here by now. Hmm. Hmm. Before long, Bert was wondering the same thing about Ernie. Hmm. Where can that Ernie be, he thought. He really should have been here by now. Hmm. Hmm. Ernie waited and waited. He was getting restless. I wish Bert would hurry, he said. We're wasting all the wind. It seemed to Bert that he had been waiting for hours. This is ridiculous, he said. This is ridiculous. I could have been sitting at home all this time reading my new book. Mm -mm. Suddenly Ernie remembered that he had left Bert happily reading Famous Pigeons. I'll bet I know what happened to Bert, he said. He is reading his silly book and has forgotten all about our picnic and flying a kite with me. Oh, that makes me angry. By now, Bert had an idea about what had become of Ernie. This is just like Ernie, he said. He found something else to do and forgot all about buying a kite. He probably met Prairie Dawn and went off to play catch or jacks. That really makes me angry. Oh boy, it's like communication. So Ernie and Bert gave up waiting for each other and trudged home. Bert got on first. He shoved the lunchbox into the refrigerator and plopped down in his chair with famous pigeons. Before he could turn one page, the door flew open and there was Ernie. Oh boy. I'm very angry with you, Bert, yelled Ernie. I'm very angry with you, Ernie, yelled Bert. Ernie and Bert stared at each other. Why are you, why are you angry with me? Bert asked, amazed. Because you forgot all about having a picnic lunch and flying a kite with me. That's why, Ernie said. But that's why I'm angry with you, said Bert. Then Bert ran to the refrigerator and got the lunch box to show Ernie. Ernie pulled the kite in the door to show Bert. Oh, snap. See, said Ernie, I didn't forget. I got this kite in your favorite color and waited at the big statue of the horse. And I made your favorite sandwiches and waited at the big statue of Mother Goose, said Bert. Oops, said Ernie, we did forget something, Bert. Right, said Bert, we forgot there are two big statues, two big statues in the park. And they both began to laugh. Then Bert looked out the window. There's still time to fly a kite, Ernie, he said. Come on, Bert, said Ernie, let's go. Back in the park, Ernie and Bert munched sandwiches and apples while they held the string and watched the kite swoop and glide high in the sky. See, Bert, isn't this fun, asked Ernie. Yes, Ernie, and we're not angry anymore. Aw. The end. <gasps> well, that makes me angry. Mm. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. It's the end of this book. Oh, I love this book. It shows communication is good, right? Communication helps. Don't get angry so fast, right? There could be an explanation. Yes, shout out to my mom, who is usually here. She's not here today. Today's her birthday. So I have a feeling my siblings have taken her out for her birthday. Happy, happy, happy birthday to you, to you, to you. Ole to my mom. Happy birthday to your mom. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, mom. Shout out to you for your birthday. I hope you're enjoying it. I am pretty sure that my siblings are taking her out and she's having a good time. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, yeah, shout out to Victoria and shout out to 
Ellie, my cousin, for sharing my videos all the time. Well, all right, all right, all right. It's time to go, and I will see you again tomorrow live. L I V E live at eight o'clock. See you soon. See you tomorrow here at Audrey's Reading Area. Don't forget to click like, click share. Go to YouTube. Type in Audrey's Reading Area. When you get there, smash that subscribe button for me. Smash, 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 smash that subscribe button for me. Well, all right, all right, all right, you guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you.